Hello guys and welcome to The Relationship Report. In this compelling video, Kevin Samuels engaged in a candid conversation with a 33-year-old caller named Tayo. The topic of discussion revolved around the preference of high-value black men for white women. However, the conversation took an unexpected turn as Kevin confronted Tayo about her disruptive and entitled behavior. Get ready for a fiery exchange that challenged societal narratives and shed light on the complexities of relationships. Current close to 100,000, I believe we could have a more productive conversation. I'm done my calculations. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hi. What's your first name? Tayo. Who? Tayo. Kayo? Tayo, like your tie and O. Tayo? Correct. Okay, Tayo. How old are you? I'm 33. All right. So the topic is why do high value black men love white women? What do you have on the topic? I believe it's a lot of it has to do with brainwashing. Um, you made who? some very valid points about the media. Mm -hmm. And there are black women and black people that are gatekeepers to holding back the progression. Okay, but before you say I got I got this is a conversation I want to ask you something. Brainwashing by who and who's being brainwashed? The media. The media here in the United States okay. is brainwashing. And I mean, and they're brainwashing who? Black people in general, the entire society. But because we are talking about black men and black women, this is something that is being targeted towards them. Because okay, even but, now but I need to be clear. I get it, but I want to be on the same page. See, you know what you believe. I don't. You said the media, and I said, who are they targeting with their brainwashing? Are you saying the media is brainwashing black women, or are they brainwashing black men? In the in the statement you made. The entire society, black men and black women, everyone is being influenced by well, the media. Okay, but then I also said that there is a, but, but, but there is also a black me. But, but me no, I no, 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 hell, hell to the no. You don't do that on my show. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, get this shit straight. You don't over talk the host, corporate black woman. Do you do that in your company meetings when the manager's talking? No, but I definitely. But then you don't do it either. here. Kevin, don't talk. Don't off, condescend though. to me, woman. I'm I can cut you off because I'm running a show. I've been polite to you, but do not come at me with that condescending, petty attitude. That shit does not work here, ma'am. But you, that's you treat not me nice. Not, you, I asked you a question. I'm going to continue asking you questions. If you don't like the way this flows, you can exit stage left because I have a show for 3000 people to run, not just for you and your talking points. So do you want to have a conversation or do you want to have your way? It's not about me having my way. I asked I, a question. Can I finish my sentence? Can you though? answer my question? What is your question? Do you want to have a conversation or do you want to have your way? Yeah, I would like to have a conversation that's productive between the well, two I of will us. Decide, well, I will decide what's productive on my show. This is okay, my but do you see I'm not able to... <clears throat> So, da, 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 da. this is what we what 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 do we notice about this, ladies? Danger zone. Say it again, brother. Danger zone. You notice when we get women there in the danger zone. You can unmute yourself. No, I'm not. I didn't mute myself. No, I, no, I said I muted you. I muted oh, you. But, I said I, I but said I'm you. I'm not speaking. I wasn't speaking. I oh, I, I muted you because you were speaking when I was still trying to talk. See, I asked no, a simple. I wasn't. All right. How about this? Uh, so you need to unmute yourself, uh, Tayo. I see it. Um, you're 33. Honestly, I feel attacked. You're 33. Right now. I don't care. Okay, could you put Do your you... husband on then? What does that have to do with the conversation? Because we're maybe he's to better to right have. Now. Maybe he's better to speak to since you feel attacked. Go get your protector. But that doesn't have anything. Go get to your do with go get your husband since you feel attacked, and I will gladly have the conversation with you and him. 
I called in to address the topic. Okay, which okay is but you're not doing it on, but see, see, this is my show. And this is my business. You're coming into my place of business and you want to do it your way. That does not work. And see, I not know you don't, I know, I know you don't do this in corporate America, going in thinking you're going to over talk a boss or going over talk somebody who's in charge. No. And then you come over here. You don't out earn me. You're not smarter than me. You're not more accomplished than me. Any of that. This is mine, not yours. And the previous caller who was younger than you seemed to just be able to comport herself just fine. But it's funny. I tend to have this problem with women in your age range around your income status. But I asked to speak to your husband and then there is. Do you think there's a correlation as to why? I asked you I about the media and the media is out there. True. But I said to the last caller, we have black media, which most black people watch. Why is black media brainwashing black women? Okay. So I think you've put me into a group in which you've already had some negative experiences with. All I right. You're going to either answer the question or you can go to the next thing. See, this is how it goes, guys. When you get these women in the, yeah, this can't win. It's like, I'm going to be right. Danger zone. We can try one more time and get on to the next person. I've listened to you put me in a category. In uh, which lady, a uh, how about this? Put a period and move on if you want to have the conversation. Black media exists. Black media is what black women tend to watch far more than white media. Why is black media brainwashing black people with these negative messages? See, what you've done is unfair, though, because now I have put, put a period there, man. We're going to either move on because we're not going to agree. This is not either fair. you're going to. I don't care. You guess put me in a category. All righty then. So, like I was saying. See, young ladies, young ladies, understand this is a woman that says, I'm a black woman who works in corporate America earning close to $100,000. Great, but none of your earnings or accomplishments has done anything to help you have any better relationship skills. Again, the problem was, you can hear it on the playback. You're trying to over talk the host, the guest, the person, and then trying to use shame guilt well you're i'm feeling attacked and all these other kind of things yeah karen take that somewhere else remember i talked about karen white here she is ladies and gentlemen karen white the the black woman who acts like white karen is the black man's greatest nemesis to getting something done this is the kind of woman that brothers fear in the workplace i was trying to speak to kevin and he was just being so hostile. I felt attacked. Out of here. Even when you try to move the conversation on, she's still going to, no, 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 I'm going to be right. Well, I'm going to be right. Oh, you can try that. Go to work. I, can I just finish my No, sentence? you can answer my question, ma'am, if you like. If not, you can leave. Okay. I understand, but you can answer my can question or you can leave. You can stay if you want to answer my question. You see, see, man, I've, give, I've given you a very simple position. You can either answer my question and stay or you cannot answer and leave. You cannot do it your way. Which would you like to do? I would like to answer your question. All right. There the media exists. I agree. White media exists. I would also I, like white media exists. I'm going to repeat the question. White media exists, black media exists. Black people watch black me media most of the time. Why is black media brainwashing black women, black people, black women in particular, with such negative messages? But now you're domineering my- Alrighty. I need you guys to ask yourself a question. That $100,000 woman in corporate America, is she a liability or an asset to the average black man? Hmm? You're an asset to me because you made me money. 
Is she an asset or a liability? Again, is it your skin tone or is it your attitude? Are you competitive in what men that you want want? What have you done to improve yourself in ways that men that you want want? I mean, great, you're $100,000 in corporate America, but you have no husband. Notice when I asked her about her husband, she got offended. What does that have to do with anything? You're 33 hundred thousand dollars unmarried and in danger zone and unmarried and you got a problem with it and think the problem is over here but no ma'am it's not it's over there with you because you are still stuck where you are i can't help you because you don't want to be helped we couldn't even talk you didn't even want to get past the point because you're stuck so heavily in danger zone you're just stuck there just stuck there Shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. She was going to be right, going to be right. But see, I guarantee you, she probably has weave, which is cool. You can have those extensions, which is cool. She had a nice tonality in her voice. I said, that's great. You can match the, you can match the hair and the tonality, but you can't match Becky's attitude. That's why you can't match Becky's outcomes. And like it or not, if Keith Henry is leaving women like you to go over there with other women whose issue is it to resolve? Is it you or is it him? It's yours because at the end of the day, when I ask you where your husband is, all I got was what? Me, me. That's all we got. That's all we got. Husband? Husband? <laughs> what, what, what kind of witchcraft is that? What kind of uh, who's a fudge are you talking about, husband? <laughs> I have eight. I've sat here, sir, and wrote my 32 points, and I am going to go through each of them. Man, would you like to move on and have the conversation? Well, now you've attacked me and put me in the corner, and now you frame my conversation, and I just don't have to. You know, <laughs> this works in corporate America when I have. When I have Brad back me up, it works when I have HR behind me, but I can't deal with a black man who can actually tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it doesn't work, man. <laughs> fuck out of here. See, gentlemen, this is why you want to do what you need to do to become high value, to earn and make fuck you money. So where you can deal with women like this and tell them to peace out. And understand, this is not... N-O-T, not all black women. But it is uncomfortably, it's too large of a percentage, two or too many. How many times do you hear women in their early to mid-30s, corporate America, chronically single, unmarried, with shit tons of issues and can't figure out why they can't get a man? Wonder why, I wonder why, I wonder why. And it's our fault. Well, I hope that degree keeps you warm at night. That thing is made on, what is the degree is made of sheepskin? That's the closest you're going to get to a condom on that. Because I'll tell you right now. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Danger zone. Danger. Been so long. It's been on. Oh, they running now, boy. Oh, 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 no. Get on the floor. The villain right here. Come on. Y'all y'all all got all that smoke to tell black men why they running from, they, you know, we've been brainwashed with bad images. You're right. But we control it. Black, me, black media has existed for 50 plus years. The color purple wasn't made, was written by a black man. I mean, black woman, not a white man. All the media that you want to talk about, the big seminal things that have really resonated in black culture have been written by black women. And when I ask the question, why do you have Love & Hip Hop Tulsa and Love & Hip Hop Akron and Love & Hip Hop uh, uh, Boys City and Love & Hip Hop Reno, you got all, you got Love & Hip Hop everything, but you don't have one reasonable show i ask when do you ever see black female platforms on this youtube that allow men to even call in 
You go on those platforms, you'll be timed out, you'll be shut down. They won't even say, welcome in as our guest. We're welcome to hear dissenting views. Nope, unless you are kissing their butt, you cannot be heard. Thank you. Thank you. There you have it, guys. This thought-provoking conversation with the caller, whom Kevin referred to as Karen White, highlighted the potential dangers of a confrontational and victimizing attitude, particularly in the corporate world. Kevin expressed his concern that this behavior hinders progress and becomes the biggest nemesis for black men striving to achieve their goals. He observed that such behavior often manifests in women in the danger zone, who are unmarried and facing various challenges. This powerful exchange serves as a reminder of the importance of self-reflection and personal growth, as well as the need for open dialogue that promotes understanding and constructive engagement. By addressing these issues, we can foster healthier relationships and work towards a more inclusive and supportive society. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let me know your thoughts on the call in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Relationship Report for more thought-provoking content. See you in the next one.